So Shakur Stevenson gave his reaction to Tiafama Lopez beating Steve by stating, quote, Damn, I never even fought a dude with seven losses in my entire career. That's crazy. End of the quote. Tiff Lopez revealed leading up to the fight that he turned down the fights with Marataya, Rodriguez, Sims to fight Steve. That's right. Tio actually picked Steve. Tio chose to fight this guy who has seven losses, two draws, and already got knocked out before. Instead of fighting the undefeated black fighters that was calling him out and Mexican fighters like Keyshawn Davis, who knocked out his father, like Shakur Stevenson, and even Murataya, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Tio had a long hit list to choose from, of good names to fight, to great names to fight. However, he chose to fight a D-level fighter, a journeyman, a fighter who you only choose to fight when you like 5-0, 10-0 on the come up, not when you are a world champion. And that's what Shakur Stevenson is pointing out Shakur said, I never fought anybody with seven losses, let alone now. It's crazy. Tiff Lopez have all of these standards when it comes to the black fighters that want to fight him. He told Keyshawn, I'm not going to fight you unless you get a belt. He told Devin Haney leading up to the Steve fight. I'm not interested in the Devin Haney fight unless he gets a belt. But when Devin Haney had a belt, Tiff Lopez didn't want to fight Devin Haney. And recently, Tio said he will never fight Shakur. We can see why because he's going to get smoked by Shakur. Shakur will outbox Tio with ease. However, notice how Tio had no standards for Steve. Did Steve bring a belt to the table? What did Steve bring to the table exactly over Shakur, Murataya, Keyshawn Davis, Jack Catterall, Devin Haney, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? Absolutely nothing. That's why when you guys see Tio call out Crawford, that's nothing but a smoke screen. He will never dare get in the ring with Crawford. He's only using Crawford's name for clout since he knows Crawford is not available. Crawford already moved up to 154, and we all know Prince Turkey is working on making Crawford versus Canelo at 168 after that. Therefore, we know Tiofma Lopez is all cap when it comes to fighting Crawford. That's nothing but smoke screens from him avoiding the real smoke in and around his division. Remember, Tio demanded 20 million guaranteed to fight Devin Haney, despite the fact when he fought Steve, he couldn't even sell out a movie theater when the tickets were on sale for $25. So how much Tio wants to fight Crawford? 15 million, even though he couldn't sell out a movie theater? Now, if you thought Tiafama Lopez cherry picking was bad, the only thing that was worse than T.O. cherry picking was his actual performance against Steve. I mean, the way T.O. looked, he made the fight seem like it was Hagler Hearn. Steve was touching Tiafama Lopez up to the point where T.O. face looked worse than Steve after the fight. We do not want to hear T.O. complain about other fighters, quote unquote, running. Because that's exactly what Tio was doing all night long against Steve. If you guys are gonna call it running, then Tio was running all night against Steve. Whatever happened to Tio wanting to go to war and complaining about Jermaine Ortiz running all night? Because he fought Steve the same exact way. Tio talking about he never gonna fight Shakur because Shakur is a runner. Then why was Tio running all night against Steve? You see, Steve showed Tio how to fight a fighter who's moving around the ring by utilizing your jab and applying pressure. For starters, cut the freaking ring off. Don't be afraid to engage, which these are some of the mistakes Tio made when he robbed Jermaine Ortiz. Steve taught Tio from Lopez a lesson. How crazy is that? A D-level fighter, an F-level fighter, taught Tio from Lopez a lesson while beating him up, even though Tio got the win. Obviously, Tio clearly won the fight, but he just made the fight look like Hagler Hearn against a D or an F level fighter that already lost seven times. He had two draws and already got knocked out before. I guess that's why Tio is ducking every good fighter in the game. 
With the opinions out of the door and the facts laid out on the table, go ahead and drop in the comment section below who do you guys believe Tio is gonna cherry pick next? Will it be Harvey or who? Subscribe below and to be continue on the next episode of Akhi TV. Peace out. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.